Finally, the time travel equation has been solved. A physicist has come up with math that makes a paradox-free time travel plausible. No one has yet managed to travel through time, at least to our knowledge, but the question of whether or not such a feat would be theoretically possible continues to fascinate scientists. Moving around in time creates a lot of problems for the fundamental rules of the universe. If you go back in time and stop your parents from meeting, for instance, how can you possibly exist in order to go back in time in the first place? It's a monumental head-scratcher known as the grandfather paradox, but now a physics student. Germain Tobar from the University of Queensland in Australia says he has worked out how to square the numbers to make time travel viable without the paradoxes. Classical dynamics says, if you know the state of the system at a particular time, this can tell us the entire history of the system. However, Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts the existence of time loops or time travel where an event can be both in the past and future of itself theoretically turning the study of dynamics on its head. What the calculations show is that space-time can potentially adapt itself to avoid paradoxes. To use a topical example, imagine a time traveler journeying into the past to stop a disease from spreading. If the mission was successful, the time traveler would have no disease to go back in time to defeat. Tobar's work suggests that the disease would still escape some other way through a different route or by a different method removing the paradox. Whatever the time traveler did, the disease wouldn't be stopped. Tobar's work isn't easy for non-mathematicians to dig into, but it looks at the influence of deterministic processes on an arbitrary number of regions in the space-time continuum and demonstrates how both closed time-like curves can fit in with the rules of free will in classical physics. Physicist Fabio Costa from the University of Queensland who supervised the research said, the new research smooths out the problem with another hypothesis that time travel is possible but that time travelers would be restricted in what they did to stop them creating a paradox. In this model, time travelers have the freedom to do whatever they want, but paradoxes are not possible. While the numbers might work out, actually bending space and time to get into the past remains elusive. The time machines that scientists have devised so far are so high concept that for they currently only exist as calculations on a page. Costa said try as you might to create a paradox. The events will always adjust themselves to avoid any inconsistency. The range of mathematical processes we discovered show that time travel with free will is logically possible in our universe without any paradox. Can you imagine going back in time to visit a lost loved one? This heart-wrenching desire is what propelled astrophysicist Professor Ron Mallet on a lifelong quest to build a time machine. After years of research, Professor Mallet claims to have finally developed the revolutionary equation for time travel. Professor Mallet's obsession with time travel and its equation has its roots in a shattering childhood experience. When he was just 10 years old, his father, a television repairman who fostered his son's love of science, tragically passed away from a heart attack. He dedicated himself to understanding the nature of time, determined to find a way to revisit the past and see his beloved father once more. Decades of research into black holes and Einstein's theories of relativity led to the time travel equation. While hospitalized for a heart condition, Mallet had a revelation. It turns out that black holes can create a gravitational field that could lead to the creation of time loops that could allow us to go back in time. Imagine the fabric of space-time as a river. While time usually flows in one direction, Mallet theorizes that the immense gravity of a spinning black hole can create whirlpools where time twists back on itself. Mallet's vision for a time machine centers on what he calls an intense and continuous rotating beam of light to manipulate gravity. His device would use a ring of lasers to mimic the space-time distorting effects of a black hole. In Einstein's theory, space and time are related to each other, that's why it's called space-time. So when the black hole spins, it will actually cause time to shift. Eventually, a rotating beam of laser lights can be used as a kind of time machine and cause a time warp that will allow us to go back to the past. Perhaps what began as a son's wish to see his father one last time might one day transform our understanding of time itself. The obstacles on the path from time travel equation to machine are immense. Mallet acknowledges the Galactic amounts of energy needed to power such a device, energy levels far beyond our current capabilities. The sheer size of a theoretical time machine is also unknown. Furthermore, Mallet's theory comes with a significant constraint. You can send information back, but you can only send it back to the point where you started operating the device. In this sense, the time machine is like a one-way message service to the past. You can't travel to a point before the machine existed. Whether Mallet's time machine will ever transcend the realm of theory is uncertain. Skeptics point to the vast technological hurdles and potential paradoxes raised by tampering with time. 
Yet the mere possibility that science might one day unlock the secrets of temporal travel is enough to ignite the imagination. Could we rewrite our regrets, learn from past mistakes, or witness historical events firsthand? Space-time, a concept that feels as vast and complex as the universe itself, forms the backbone of our cosmic understanding. At its core, it blends the dimensions of space and time into a single four-dimensional continuum, challenging our perceptions of reality. This intertwined nature of space and time underpins everything from the motion of planets to the flow of time itself. Albert Einstein, with his theory of relativity, revolutionized our understanding of space-time. He posited that space and time are not separate entities but are connected in a dynamic relationship affected by mass and energy. This relationship implies that the presence of a massive object like a planet or a star can warp the fabric of space-time around it. It's a concept that turns the notion of a flat, unchanging universe on its head, suggesting that the very structure of the cosmos is malleable. Planets orbit stars not because they are being pulled to eke a straight line towards them, but because they are following the curved space-time geometry that these massive objects create. This curvature of space-time is not just a theoretical concept, it's observable and measurable, especially in the presence of extremely massive and dense objects like black holes. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for the theory of relativity and the dynamic nature of space-time comes from the detection of gravitational waves. These waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time, generated by some of the most violent and energetic processes in the universe, such as colliding black holes. Their discovery not only confirmed Einstein's predictions but also opened a new window into observing cosmic events that were previously invisible to us. While these concepts might seem distant from daily life, they have real-world applications, particularly in technology. The Global Positioning System, a technology integral to modern navigation, relies on an understanding of space-time. How Black Holes Are Linked to Time Travel Playing a major role in Mallet's time machine, black holes exert a gravitational pull so immense that not even light can escape their grasp. This intense gravity fundamentally alters the fabric of space-time around the black hole. The stronger the gravity, the more pronounced these effects become, leading to what scientists call gravitational time dilation, a phenomenon where time itself warps, slowing down relative to an observer far from the gravitational pull. At the heart of this phenomenon lies Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which posits that gravity is the result of masses warping the space-time around them. In the vicinity of a black hole, this warping becomes so extreme that it significantly affects the flow of time. An observer standing at a safe distance would perceive time to pass much slower for someone closer to the black hole. This effect intensifies as one approaches the event horizon the point of no return beyond which the gravitational pull becomes inescapable. The event horizon of a black hole marks a stark boundary in the universe, where time as we understand it undergoes a dramatic transformation. To an external observer, objects approaching the event horizon appear to slow down and almost freeze in time, never quite crossing the threshold. This illusion results from the light from those objects taking longer and longer to reach the observer as the objects move closer to the event horizon, due to the extreme gravitational pull affecting the light's path. This warping of time around black holes is not just a theoretical curiosity. As Dr. Mallet explained previously in this article, it has practical implications for our understanding of the universe. For instance, it plays a crucial role in the behavior of binary systems where one star orbits a black hole. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.